my flying saucer that I'm going to texture. I would like a two panel layout to accommodate my hyper shade for this demo because I only have one monitor. So I'm going to select the two panel layout at the bottom of the toolbar. Yay. Within Miles, Maya's panels, there are menus. And through the right panels menu, I'm going to select panel and hyper shade. Okay, so in the hypershade, I am going to select the material for glass and metal, which is a blend. And I'm going to name my blend Flying Saucer. I will also change to this perspective view so I can tumble as I please. Ooh, not there. That'll change the whole layout again. Go to panels, perspective, that's the camera, perspective, yay. Now I can tumble as I please. I will also change the color, make some adjustments. Just like in Photoshop, you can adjust the tint, tone, and shade. Yeah. Now perhaps an orthographic view would help me select this dome more accurately. Right view. Yeah, and select the faces. And select a blend, and this will be named glass. <laughs> I'll change that later. Select faces and apply this material to the dome, right click, and select the and select uh, assign material in the pic in the pic mask. So correcting that spelling. Now go to the transparency channel, and increase the transparency. Tumble, tumble, tumble. Okay. So, looks like I colored my default material Lambert. No problem. It can always be returned to as default color. I can apply the blend later. This is when you this is when UV mapping becomes an advantage. You can swap out materials all you like and they'll know just how to be placed. So we made that closer to the default material. And I'm going to have the UV editor this time float on top. So select my model. Go to automatic mapping. Which is good for which is good for more complex models. Then the UV editor, and there are the UVs. Now, my task now is strategy, because this can be complex. Just like a jigsaw puzzle, puzzle you want to... The easiest way is to, you know, find the edges first and then go for the meat of the puzzle. What I'm going to do is group UVs that correspond with certain features on the model. Like I am going to select all the UV shells that belong to that dome and move them away from into a different set of coordinates. So they won't be affected by the main texture map that will be in uh, the coordinates that are to the right. Let's move them to the left, to no man's land. So we can color them any way we want just by choosing a material and just applying the material to it. A simple material. A map is more complicated.
So selecting the model's faces to make sure I get everything. On more complex models, especially organic models, there will be stray UV shells. So you have to go and, you know, select everything that corresponds with that feature and make sure they're accounted for. We don't want red to end up on a supposedly blue area. You know, you'll find out for yourself as you texture your model. So to get that pick mass is the space bar and right click. And it'll pop up. Actually, I think it's space bar left click. Try either one. Everything's in hindsight with me. Cool. Looks like our model is ready to be textured. The dome is clear. Now all we have to do is lay out the UVs for the decals for our flying saucer.